This is about 643. An important reminder this morning for pet owners and Chagas disease. It is a potentially life threatening illness caused by parasites. Although Chagas is more commonly associated with humans, it can also affect our beloved pets. KSAT producer MJ Inotch sat down with a San Antonio vet to discuss the symptoms, the testing and treatment. It's probably one of the most serious diseases that we have here. Number two, it's everywhere. And nobody is immune. Dr. Roy Madigan is not only a medical director, but the principal scientist for the K-9 Chagas treatment study at Lackland Air Force Base. He says even people that spray their yards and get their pets groomed can still be affected. And he says most of the cases he sees are asymptomatic, but there are signs to look out for. When we look for disease, when we have Chagas disease in dogs, we always do further testing because we need to assess things. And uh, certainly things like collapse, coughing, you know, anything you know, breathing wise, that those are going to be some, some ideas for you. He stresses that while humans can't get Chagas from their pet, those nearby bugs can buy anything. He says nearly 300,000 people in the U.S. are infected and many don't know it. If your dog tests positive, um, you as a human being need to get tested. And early detection is key. And while testing could take almost seven days for results, labs are currently working to release a test next year that vets can run in-house and get results in 15 minutes. The treatment, while it's 100% effective, the duration is, is fairly long, okay? It's a one year treatment, okay? And yes, it does get tedious. I've got three of my own dogs, my entire pack has Chagas disease. And guess what happens in December? We're done. We're done with treatment. So, um, and yes, it's like prison one day at a time, right? So we're excited, but it, it we do know that at 12 months, uh, every dog gets better. The majority of dogs, 99% you know, of them, we're gonna be able to help them out and give them a good life again. And Dr. Madigan encourages owners to pressure their vet to run those tests and to always keep in contact. MJ Inoch, KSAT 12 News. For a full breakdown of what the kissing bugs look like, plus a more in-depth view into treatment and testing, head to KSAT.com there. You'll find a link to watch uh, to his website with tons of information. You'll also find data between testing and percentage of infection. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.